Hey everyone, Matt here, Home Farm Ideas, and today I got a package in the mail, and it was from Crown Bees. Uh, no hiding it, I love this company. I love the owner, and I love his team. They're a great, um, great, great people. Just awesome people. Um, they really care about our environment, and they're looking to um, really. Uh, bring back the native bee population. So, um, and native bees obviously they um, they uh, pollinate a lot better than uh, our European friends or our European bees. Uh, the benefit obviously to European bees is you're going to get uh, pollination, but then you're also going to get honey. Where these bees they pollinate, uh, I think it's a hundred times better than uh, normal um, European bees. So. With that said, if you're looking to pollinate and you're looking to get more crop, you know, more fruits and vegetables, uh, these would be the bees to have around. Um, the kit that I got, it came with uh, this nest, the, uh, the the nest box here, and then it came with um, some chambers for the mason bees to, um, you know, create their little uh, holes where they're going to lay eggs and stuff. And uh, so uh, some things that you're going to want to make sure about is um, that you get in your kit is um, there's a, a bee attractant that they have as well uh, for mason bees. And I'm not sure exactly how to apply that. So you want to make sure that you're reading the directions. But um, and they, they added these extra tubes, which I can put up top there. So, oh, hey, I already had a bee flying around. That's funny. Um, and then another thing that you're going to want to make sure if you don't have clay around um, I get this clay anyways because this is kind of the clay that they like to use um, But if you don't have clay around I would highly suggest you get this clay. Um, it came with the kit that I got um, It also came with this um, uh, Pest prevention, I guess when you're putting them away um, You're going to want to put them in these bags and um, They're you know, they have holes in them and stuff like that to where the bees can still breathe and all that stuff but uh, nothing can get in them. And then last but not least, I couldn't put it in the video because I actually put the bees in the refrigerator and um, that's to calm them down. Um, so when I put them out, um, I'll have more time basically to do the video. But um, I have them in the incubator and you just add a little bit of water to the bottom, tiny, tiny bit of water just to keep moisture around the cocoons and stuff like that. But anyways, so I'm gonna show you guys where I'm gonna install it. Um, but I wanted to talk to you a little bit about where you want to install. You want to make sure that you're trying to get early morning sun. And the way the sun comes up here is it rises over here in the east. And then it, it sets over here in the west, which it's already setting today. Um, so you want to make sure that it's going to get early morning sun. Another thing is, is that you want to make sure you have flowers. So this tree has got flowers all over it. And then this one's just about ready to start blossoming uh, with flowers. And then also my neighbors have... Uh, I think this is a milkweed or something where a lot of butterflies go. Uh, there's flowers all around here though. There's a nursery actually uh, less than a mile that way. Way less than a mile, like maybe a block or two. Um, so got flowers coming in right now. Um, you also wanna make sure that you're not putting it in an area where ants and stuff are gonna get to it. So let's go in for a closer look on that. This was actually a really cool spot because um, Trying to give you guys the angle here, but basically, early morning sun comes up right there, and then midday it kind of cools off a little bit because um, you get a little bit more shade right here. Um, and you don't want them in the blazing hot sun either. You want them in a spot where they're not going to get crazy amounts of shade, but not too hot, you know. So, um, so I was thinking about here. The only thing is, is that you know this is kind of small, so I decided against this. I thought this spot would have been wonderful okay oh look at that got a dove sitting right there on the wall and the reason why i thought it was cool in this spot is because nature is just flowing hi baby i'm trying to why is it so hi oh fine be that way <laughs> So anyways, I was thinking this spot here, it's a little up higher, uh, but this is nice and straight. You know, it's it's uh, stout, so I can basically drive a nail in there and, and hang the bee house on there. Um, same thing, that's the tree that I just showed you guys. Early morning sun here, nice shade during the afternoon. 
Late afternoon though, I'm not gonna get much sun, but by the time the sun starts going down here, um, you know, they, they should be going to bed anyway. So the only thing that I noticed on this tree, if I can find it again, is ants. See that little ant? We have an ant trail on this tree. And trust me, they will try and find every little piece of cocoon and bee that they can tear apart. So, <clears throat> there are things you can do. I could build a platform off of here and then um, I can put like a water dish with a brick or something inside the water dish in order to put the bee house on top of that. And then the ants cannot get past the moat basically. So that would be the idea. But I don't think that's gonna be, be really good for this spot. Just simply I'd have to keep up, keep filling up that moat and then this tree it just always has berries on it and it has tons of flowers which is great this is my page mandarin tree and um it's more in the middle of the yard as you can see the early morning sun will hit about right there so looking good right it's gonna get some sun believe it or not a lot of sun comes through this okay it hits this this, this fence here uh, most of the day um, and so what I'm thinking is, is I'm thinking right here I'm thinking this will be good I checked it for a while I did not see any ants on it whatsoever I'm not saying they're not gonna come I'm just I'm hoping they'll uh, the bees will be ready and they're already been incubated from crown bees so they should be ready to, to rock basically when I put them out so I think this is gonna be the spot for them so if I back up here, um, when I do um, you know updates on this video or on the bees, uh, this should be a good spot. I'm, it is up a little higher than I wanted, um, but I you know I can do stuff to basically bring the camera up because I don't want to be doing filming like I'm doing right now, which is kind of walking around and being shaky. I want to be able to kind of put the camera on them and just check them out for a while, um, you know, kind of like a bee camera. Um, if you guys think that's that's a cool idea um, post in the comment section below I might just set up a camera out here and set it up and just leave it for the day while I'm at work um, but yeah so that's what I'm thinking so let's go ahead and let's drive this old screw in a little bit more and uh, hang up the house oh yes I love my Ryobi I want my Ryobi <laughs> alright let's see if I can do this one handed here Got this sorry little drill bit. Oh, I'm looking through the camera trying to find it. All right, let's try it. Dang, I'm gangster. Damn, it feels good to be a gangster. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and let's try this. Hung. Let me see. Pull it push down. You know what? I think I need to tighten it up a little more. But I mean, you get the gist of it here. You definitely don't want it hanging down like that because those will just slide out. So, but that looks really cool. Yeah, that's a good spot for it. Let's hang it up right. All right, there we go. Hung up nice and neat. Looks really cool. Um, yeah, I love it. It looks sweet, so, uh, and I'm hoping I got the angle right for the sun and all that stuff, and um, uh, I don't have the bees, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to be putting the bees out just yet because I actually need more time to do the filming, so, um, so I'll be coming out um, over the next few days probably and, and uh, putting the bees out and, you know, getting the mud set up and stuff like that and talking a little bit more about that as well, uh, but so far so good, the house looks really good right where it is. Let me back up a little. Yeah, looks good. There's blossoms on that already, Page Mandarin. And um, it's got a, they got a good view of the whole yard. I'm gonna have potatoes coming off those. I already have tons of strawberries growing on here and lots of flowers and, and those are all gonna be pepper plants. 
and onions and all kinds of different stuff I'm still growing over there. Tons of flowers over that direction. So um, they'll be flying right towards it. So looks really good. <clears throat> so anyways, I'll be uh, setting up the bees and stuff and trying to get a lot more footage on them. Uh, you know, of them kind of flying in and out, in and out, you know, doing their thing. So anyways, um, if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, also, if you're a new subscriber, hit the subscribe button and then it, ring my bell, you know, that little bell icon and check to see, um, you know, check the little box to get notifications sent to your guys' email. Um, and then if you're OG here and you've been here around, you know, for a while, um, check that box, that bell icon, you guys. And if every time I put up a video, it'll send you a notification. So, uh, one more thing, it does come with the instructions. Okay, and so if you want to uh, learn how to raise the bees, go to crownbees.com forward slash raise dash bees. And this will have the Mason Bee instructions here uh, that you can read through. Slow down the video or just re rewind and you can see through the whole thing. Um, one other thing, definitely join their newsletter. They always have like cool articles about what's going on with them, what's going on in the world, all kinds of different stuff. So check out their uh, newsletter and, and join it. So anyway, you guys, like always, peace and uh, God bless you.